Oh, he's thumped that. He's a very powerful player, Graham Hick. And that's a good chase. in the gap could go all the way it does big hit by Graham Heck beautifully struck oh there he goes that's gone right over the stand into the Victor Richardson Gates pathway oh he's a big hitter Um, firmly and it's going way over the top for six that's a beautiful shot actually that's uh, hit the way down towards deep square leg and uh, it's another six and uh, into the crowd there Hick actually playing very well. well that's his century and that's very well played Graham Hick uh, had a little bit of a break early on in his innings and uh, he was given in looked as if he nicked it but uh, he's capitalized on that and uh, he's played superbly it's been good to watch in the air and that's going a long way down towards extra cover oh, I thought he took his hand off the bat there and hit that with with one hand at the end Give you some idea of how powerful he is oh he smashed that one that'll go all the way for six that's his fourth six and uh, into the stands at deep mid wicket that's a big hit by Graham Hick. oh good shot straight down the ground you're not going to get that one Unless it hits uh, a seagull, it's gone all the way. It gives you some idea of how powerful he is. Well, that's been blasted through the offside. What a shot! All the way along the ground. That is power. The last ball of the innings. Played away on the offside. And I'll get one. They'll be back for the second. So 21 runs off that final over. And England, three for 302. It's launched high. And a good catch by Alan Mullally running round from uh, long off. Pleased with that. That is a good catch. He had a lot of ground to make up and he made it look easy. By one of the two. Murray Goodwin's actually hit this very well. Spooned it a little bit too high. It's better to hit it with a lower trajectory. And that's beautifully taken. And he knows it. But it's a brave option, strong option. Down the wicket, and I think he's stumped. That's the end of Grand Flower. So going down the wicket, trying to force the pace, and Graham Hick strikes for England. Really from Grand Flower. He's trying to work out what options he's got. He's way, way down. He tries despairingly to get back and to make his ground, but good work by Chris Reid. That man Hick again. In the air, and this could be out. It's going to be a difficult catch for Elam. And he holds his composure, takes a catch running backwards over his shoulder. And that's the end of Dirk Fulhoun. So Zimbabwe now in trouble at 112 for six. Off the ball, if you want runs, you've got to hit me long. Fulhoun has tried, only succeeded in that cross bat sweep shot in finding Mark Elam. A good catch just outside the 30 yard circle. As difficult as I can. That's for bold. Nice piece of work too from Chris Reid. There was turn and bounce, and Ian Robinson has asked for adjudication. Saw Andy Flower coming down the pitch. Dropped it in a little bit shorter. Look at that bounce. Look at the bounce and turn. It's a great take from Reid, although he's got to come from wide. Very neat stumping, and it's Andy Flower on his way. That's it, caught. Beautiful catch, and Graham Hicks celebrates. 
five wickets for Graham Hick. Alan Mullally taking the catch at backward point. Well, when Graham Hick walked out there today, Procky, there were a few boos. He got some runs with the bat and no five wickets. Yeah, he batted superbly. The big drive, Alan Mullally diving full length to his left and he takes uh, a very good catch indeed. Hick enjoys it. He knows it's just his fifth wicket.